And what is going on guys, Logan here for a new video. Today I'm going to be meeting up with Brothers on Wheels, he's another automotive YouTube channel. He has a 2016 Mustang GT. I'm meeting up with him and letting him do a review on my 2012 Mustang GT. Just got done cleaning Bubba, he is looking very good today. Nice little reflection there. And I'm here with him now, we're about to do this. Review. What's up everybody? <laughs> What's going on guys, welcome to the video. Welcome to, this is Logan, otherwise known as Bubba Blue on YouTube. I'll make sure to link his channel in the description below. And this is his 2012, right? Yes, sir. 2012, 2012 5 liter Coyote GT, the very first of the Coyotes. But I'm excited to drive this because I've driven the 1314, which I guess is kind of the same chassis. I've driven my car, but I've never driven. I mean, this is kind of the car that, you know, really changed the game for Ford. And, and I haven't got to drive one yet, so this is cool. And then I had a 2012 before I had mine, so this is all nostalgia right now. I'm, I'm in my happy place right now, back in S197. So what's all done to this one? So I know you had you said JBA long tube headers. Yeah, I have JBA long tube headers. Uh, those go to the, the stock catalytic converters, okay. stock mid pipe. Uh, I took off the resonators. It has Flowmaster Outlaws. Um, as far as the intake, I have a Roush cold air intake. Okay. It goes to an air raid throttle body spacer, just a little tiny throttle body uh -huh. spacer, nothing really special. Um, and then it's lowered. It has the Falcon rims um, and also the Boss 302, somewhat of a front fascia, and drilled and slotted rotors. Okay, cool. I love that Boss fascia. The, the Boss 302 is my favorite S197 ever. Point it straight and. Like honestly, Damn. I wish that I bought this. I mean, I don't regret buying it, but right. if I could have looked into the future, I would have waited just a year. You because can right, right after I bought these, it's just the prices went down. I'm like, wow, I bought this for twenty twenty thousand nine hundred dollars, and it had, to be it, yeah, it had thirty thousand miles, and uh -huh. I already had the long tube headers. It was lowered, and already had well, the rims cool. on it. Some so, of the expensive stuff already. For yeah, me. and it came with the um, the warranty, so that was one thing I was oh, kind of okay, excited cool. for. But the one thing is that just the price just went straight down as soon as I bought it. You could have done what I did. You could have bought it brand new and just let it depreciate down to nothing. So. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so you said Flowmasters? Flowmaster Outlaws. <laughs> that makes a good noise. So one thing I always noticed about these older generation Coyotes versus my car is they just, and we were talking about this earlier, they just seem to me to make a throatier noise. They just seem to make a lot deeper tone, a lot more of a bellow growl. Yeah, they both sound amazing, but I just always love the deep growl you got with these first gen cars. I remember, you know, I was so excited to get my car because when you know, your car first came out, that was all I wanted. I saw that out. I've had Mustangs before, and uh, I was like, wow, I need that Coyote in my life right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, ever since I heard the first, I think there was a long time ago, like one of the first videos, Borla made an exhaust for it, and it was a black one running through a parking lot. And ever since I watched that video, I was like, wow. I'm gonna have to have one of those cars in my life. One well, day. that's one thing is that <laughs> I, me personally, I think the best sound Mustang is the one you used to have 99 to 04, those two valves. Oh, those two valves make it good. Long two headers, from Flowmaster, what, Super 44 is my friend used to have. Oh, yeah. And it would sound amazing. And I that's one thing is that valves. these cars don't make that sound, but every single Mustang just has their own sound. Obviously. Right. They all sound good at just a very different unique sound, especially the Coyote. <laughs> that's the funniest thing to me. A V8 sounds like a V8 and a lot of different things, but you can always tell when a Coyote is going by. Especially, I guess, it may be me and you since we own and we know what they sound like. But every time I hear a Coyote, I'm like, eh, eh, but there it is. There yep. it goes. I've never driven an automatic Coyote before. Oh, yeah. That's one thing. It's I was looking for a manual, but uh -huh. I found this one. It was a good price, and I just had to have it. But, yeah, especially for a good price. And then this is, you know, kind of like one of like the best automatic transmissions you can put in the car. It's faster than the manual. Mm -hmm. And, uh... It's just really smooth. It's just really quick too. I'm gonna drop down it's super fast as soon as I punched it. And wow, this car is loud. When you pulled in and idled pretty quietly, mm -hmm. I was like, man, long tunes, that doesn't sound very loud, but but yeah, that was louder. Mm -hmm. That was much Yeah, you louder. gotta give it gas. I mean, it'll be quiet when you want it to be quiet, but when you want it, want it to be loud, you can definitely be heard. Yeah, that was good and loud. I very much approve of that. Is your car tuned yet? Not tuned yet. I need to tune it. I want to tune it because I've heard that once you tune it, it's like a night and day difference. It just changes the whole attitude. And cars. who have you heard is like a good tuner? I've heard that Lund would be a really good yeah, tuner. Yeah, Lund is who I will go with as soon as I uh, as soon as I can tune it. Just because, yeah, I've heard so many. I've heard good things about a couple of people, but yeah, Lund seems to have the most positivity yeah, around it. I'll go for Bama. <laughs> I'm going to go, I'm going to Bama tune mine. Screw you guys. <laughs> Bama's the best. <laughs> 
Bama gets so much crap. Bama gets a lot of grief. Well, my friend, he had a, uh, well, actually, it was a 2003 Mustang GT. Uh -huh. He put a Kenny Bell supercharger on it, and he got Bama to tune it, and it wouldn't even start. Or It, it, really? it, would, he, it would start, <laughs> but then it would die after two seconds just because idle was so choppy. So what made you go for this? What made you, because you, you said you had a 2005 before 2005 this, right? V6 Mustang. Um, I've always wanted a V8 ever uh -huh. since. I've driven my friends. He had a 2002 Mustang GT. Okay. Um, I wanted a GT after that, and I saw this one up on cargurus.com. It was uh -huh. a great price, so I had to have it, honestly. That's awesome. I've always loved Mustangs. Get a lot of car for the money, and especially you know. You said you paid you know in the twenty thousand dollar range for this car. You know, a couple years old. I mean, any under thirty grand for a, you know something with over four hundred horsepower. That's stupid. That's a lot of power for not a lot of money. I mean, then you know having the premium in this car, you have all kinds of toys inside. I mean, so obviously. I, I'm assuming you upgraded these speakers on the side. Yes, they're kicker speakers. Okay. Um, they were upgraded even before because they had the premium, uh, what was that, the shaker right, audio. The shaker audio yeah. in it. And in the rear, I also have a subwoofer back there as well. Okay, cool. But you get a killer stereo on this thing. You get super comfy leather seats. You get the you know, Ford Performance suspension, so it actually rides amazing. It sits a little bit lower, so you kind of get rid of the ugly wheel gap. Mm -hmm. But um, but I mean, it's still a super, super comfy car. I mean, anything so far you don't like about this car? Well, there's just two things really, but it's just basic Mustang stuff. Uh -huh. The first thing is the interior. I mean, I know that we said the interior definitely is upgraded from the previous generation, mm -hmm. but that's just one thing is that this is a somewhat older interior. Right. But as far as the second thing, it is the back seats. There is no really room for people in back seats. It's a very nice shelf. Yeah, but <laughs> it's, it's Mustang, so what can you really expect? It's you basically know, it's, two seats. You know, that's always been the thing. It's a two plus two, and you know, you, you can put someone back there. I mean, they're not going to be very comfy. But I mean, you know, to go, to, you know, to the store real quick, it's great. I mean, you're not gonna want to take a you know, cross-country road trip in with someone in the back. They will hate you when you get to your destination. But that is one thing. We can go cross road up or cross country up here just because it's very comfortable for two people. Very comfortable up here for two people. I agree with you on that. My only complaint about this car, and you're fine because you have an automatic and it's these. What the, the cup holders? Yep. Because mine was a six-speed. Oh my God! I probably looked like the craziest guy in the world shifting like this. <laughs> Because I was trying to go over a McDonald's cup. My car, they learned. You have the shifter right here, and the cup holders are offset a little bit to the right. Yeah, really? Yeah, so it's better then, but that was the only, that was the only thing I ever hated about this my, the, my old car. Yeah. You like the drag I put the drag in mine, too. I love I that. Love I love that, man. No problems at all. Um, it's always been quick boot ups. Some people on the generation after this, uh -huh. they said that sometimes, like after two years, it just shuts off. It doesn't oh, really? start anymore. I have no I problems with mine. Um, I have my rear view camera, which until I got rear ended a few months ago, I hit the camera. 
camera button, it would actually show me. So show you what was going on? Yeah. Uh -huh. Now if I just hit it, it's black screen. That's awesome. But I like it, no complaints. I have satellite radio with it, uh -huh. uh, meaning you can your phone, radio, satellite, and all that stuff. That's awesome. What gears are in this? 331? It's the stock, so I think it is a 331. Okay. I know I'm wanting to change it. I'm thinking of 373. Uh -huh. uh, not quite 410s, because I heard the, the daily drive ability yeah, kind of goes down after that. Deep. Yeah, but... Yeah, I put 373s in mine, and it, wow. Woke up. Yeah, it changed it a lot. And what's going on guys, I am actually home now. I hope you all enjoyed that footage of me and Dane talking about my car and just Mustang stuff in general. It was definitely a lot of fun, but I did not show all the footage on my video. So if you want to see all of our conversations and everything, uh, head on over to his video. Um, I think he's going to be posting it tomorrow, so head on over and subscribe to him if you haven't. Um, and check out the video. Now he did also let me drive his car and I'm going to be posting my video of like my kind of impressions on his Mustang. He has a 2016 Mustang GT, uh, so I'm going to be posting that video later. But guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.